If you're like me and have fat quarters piling up just waiting for the perfect project, well, today's the day. I'm going to show you the perfect project to use up 12 of your favorite fat quarters. Now I know for some this may not seem like much, but this is a perfect way to start reducing your stash and once you've made one, you'll definitely want to make more. Now the fat quarters I'll be using today came in our latest Mrs Quilty pack, which you can see here. Now Mrs Quilty is a monthly subscription service, making it a convenient way to receive fabric and project ideas. Now the box includes a number of different items, including 16 fat quarters. You receive two of each pattern, plus some extra goodies, such as these quilt fixing clips, which I've never used before, so I'm looking forward to trying these out. Let me know in the comments below if you've used them before and what you think of them. We also have some strap webbing and a bag of polyfill stuffing. Now these are for projects that are included in the magazine that comes in the box. The book includes five step-by-step -step projects using the fabric from the pack. Plus there are helpful quilting tips. Now this month it's all about choosing batting. Now we'll put a link in the description field below to Mrs Quilty for those of you who are interested in trying out their subscription service. Now for this project, you're going to need 12 fat quarters, and since I received 16 fat quarters in the box, I'll just pick out the 12 that I want to use. You can see here that I have two of each pattern, but you could use all different patterns if you like. Now I'm going to open out each of these and give them a quick press to get all those wrinkles out. And once they're all pressed, I'm going to separate them into two piles with six fat quarters in each pile. Now if you're using all different patterns, you will still need to do this step, so just randomly choose what you like for each pile. Now the reason we're separating them out is because we're going to be making two different types of blocks for this quilt. And that means that the fabric in each of these piles will be cut differently. So this pile will be used for block A and this pile for block B. And I'm going to pop an image up on the screen here to show you how you need to cut them. You can pause the screen or you can head over to our blog to download this as a PDF if that makes it easier for you. I'll put a link in the description field below. So I've gone ahead and cut all of my fat quarters and these are going to be for block A and these are going to be for block B. You might want to label them to ensure that you don't mix them up. I'll just pop up an image on the screen of what the two blocks will look like and also an example of what they look like in our fabrics. Now just pause the screen or head over to our website to download a free PDF of this from our blog. The link will be in the description field below. Now before we start sewing these pieces together into blocks, I highly suggest laying the pieces out first in the configuration that you want your completed quilt to look like. And this is to ensure that you don't have the same or similar patterns and colours next to each other. You can see that I've finished laying out my pieces and in the first row we have started with block A, then block B and then block A again. And on the second row we started with block B and then followed that with block A and then block B again and we'll continue alternating like this for the next two rows. Now we are ready to sew it all together and we're going to be sewing them together into blocks first. So these four pieces make up block A and these four pieces make up block B and the third one is block A again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first piece and lay it over this piece and sew down the edge with a quarter inch seam. And then on the bottom piece I'll do exactly the same. I'll put the two pieces together, line them up and sew them together with a quarter inch seam. Now once I have those sewn I'll sew right along here to join the two lots together and that will be block A finished. And then for block B I'll bring this piece over and sew it along the edge and I'll do exactly the same with this piece. And once those bits are sewn I'll sew those lots together with a quarter inch seam to form the block. And I'll continue doing that with all of the blocks all the way down the quilt. Now I've got all the blocks sewn together as block A and block B and at this point you could add sashing between the blocks but I'm going to keep it simple and just start sewing these blocks together. So I'll take the first block here and lay it onto the next block and sew along here with a quarter inch seam and then I'll take the end block and lay it down this side and sew that with a quarter inch seam and I'll do that all the way up the quilt to form the rows. So as you can see, I've sewn all the blocks into rows and now I'm going to join the rows together. So I place the second row on top of the first, line everything up 
and sew it together with a quarter inch seam and I'll do that with all of the rows to form the quilt. Okay, my quilt is complete and it came out even better than I expected. Now if you'd like another easy fat quarter quilt to try, you might want to give this one a go.